Good morning, YouTube, or good afternoon, or good whatever time you're watching. It's Jen. Uh, I wanted to make a video for you guys because I've kind of been MIA. Um, so, hello again. I don't know if you missed me, but I missed you guys for sure. Um, I wanted to give you an update, tell you what I've been up to. I've been trying to get better because in my last video that I was actually in, you could hear that my voice was just terrible. I'm not quite back to normal, but I'm getting there. Um, I've been pretty busy, so uh, let me tell you what I've been up to. I've been busy working in my ER as normal. I've been um, not going to the gym. I think I've only been to the gym once this week. So I work my three days in the ER, and as soon as I come home, there's only two things that I want to do. One, take a shower because I probably stink like sick people. And that's really mean to say, but it's true. Stink like sick people. And then two, I just want to face plant, like right into bed just go to sleep and sleep for several hours and I normally do sleep for several hours and so that's what I've been up to there and then when I wake up I just want to eat and kind of veg in front of the TV or make a video for you guys so I haven't really been to the gym shame on me I know I need to get there um I don't even think I want to go today honestly even though I had the day off I um I got my nails done last night, and look how pretty, you can see that, if you look really close, you can see the sparkles, and what else, I got my eyebrows done, and I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, like, done professionally, and I'm getting my makeup done professionally, and they say to go with day dirty, like a day dirty hair, which means today I can't wash my hair, so I washed my hair last night. Which is why it kind of looks like insanity. So I washed my hair last night. And I don't want to go to the gym today and get all stinky. And then have them like do my hair. Because I'll be like sorry that my hair is like filthy. And it stinks of like dirty sweat. So I'm probably not going to go to the gym today either. Shame on me. I know. I know. I'm sorry. But Monday I'm going to the gym. If it kills me. And... Tomorrow, Sunday, is the big day for these pictures. I have yet to decide on a dress. I know that I have, like, those three that I showed you guys. And then I have one more that I didn't show you guys. Um, I'm debating between those four. I think I know which one. I'm not going to tell you guys yet because I'm not positive. But I think I know which dress I'm going to wear. I'm pretty excited. You know, I'm going to go get these pictures done tomorrow with Zig. And I'm super excited. I definitely will share with you guys whenever... I get like, what are those things called? Not the negatives, because they're not technically negatives anymore, but like, when I get some, I'll share them with you. I'm super excited. Um, I really am hoping that there's still some cherry blossoms, because the weather here, for the last couple days, have kind of been cold and rainy. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be 60 and a little cloudy, so pray that it, for me that it will be a little bit better. And be nice and sunny because I kind of don't want to stand out there in a dress and be cold. Like I'm afraid that like the look of misery and cold will just be like plastered on my face. We'll like have done all this work for these pictures and they won't turn out well. So keep them crossed guys. Keep them crossed that these pictures turn out. Um, I also wanted to share with you guys about my cooking ex escapades from last night. So um, since I've started Weight Watchers I've kind of been like in an eating rut like I get I'm a really picky eater I think I've told you guys that and I've been eating a lot like a lot of chicken for like my like dinners and stuff and I like chicken like don't get me wrong but it's always nice to like switch it up so I was um I told you guys that I also am like a sucker for things that say Weight Watchers so, I was at the store, like, a couple weeks ago, and they had this magazine. It's the Weight Watchers magazine for January and February. It's got Jennifer Hudson on it and, like, her success story, whatever. That's all great. But I want to know about my success story. And one thing that I really um, like about this magazine is that they have, like, different recipes so last night I tried this one out. It's a burger recipe. And let me tell you, I love burgers. Like, 
McDonald's was one of my favorite things before Weight Watchers. So anytime I could get like a burger in, I'm super excited. So this is the picture of the recipe. Like, look at that burger. Like, unless you're a vegetarian. But you probably think that looks like, I think that looks delicious. Like, I saw that and I was like, mmm, that is so good. I'm going to make you. And I'm going to eat you and it's going to be fabulous. So I made this recipe last night for Ziggy and myself. And let me tell you, oh my god, it turned out so good. It's like kind of a, one of my new go-to things because it really wasn't hard. Um, let me tell you what it is. It, As you can see, like it's got cheese in it. It's a stuffed. A cheddar stuffed burger and what you do is you get um, a pound of ground um, lean beef so 7% fat or la less and I found um, at the store yesterday like I think it was like 96 97% um, fat free beef so I, I got that and they it already came packaged as a pound and um so you get your ground beef, you get an onion, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, um, low-fat cheddar cheese, and English muffins, lettuce, whatever. Whatever other kind of toppings you want to do. So what you do is you salt and pepper and put a tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce in, the bowl, in a bowl and mix up your ground beef. And then you cut the beef into four even um, like balls of meat. And then you take your knuckle and you, like, make a little hole in it. And you put your tablespoon of, of cheddar in the little hole. And then you pinch the meat around the cheddar so that there's meat on top and there's meat on bottom and the cheddar's in the middle. So, cheddar stuffed. And then you put Pam in your frying pan. You put your burgers in the frying pan and you fry up your burgers and then you add your toppings your onions and whatever I didn't add any toppings really I'm not really like a toppings person I don't like onions um and I didn't want to buy lettuce just for burgers like I kinda of thought that was excessive so um I made my burgers I um toasted my English muffin and I put, um, what is it, mustard, ketchup, and pickles on my hamburger, and I ate it, and then, so I had one burger, Ziggy had two burgers, and you make, you make a total of four, so I had one, Ziggy had two, and then we have one still in the refrigerator, like, hanging out, and then we had, um, steamed broccoli as, like, our side dish, and oh my god, let me tell you, that recipe was so good, like, I really enjoyed it. It was like a really simple recipe. Like it didn't involve a lot of time. It was easy to do. Um, it was actually something that Ziggy and I did together, which is like nice um, because <laughs> I was trying to, to cook the burgers, but like it wasn't happening very well. Like they were falling apart and they weren't cooking. So it was something that we got to do together. It was really nice and it was so scrumptious. So um. Definitely let me know if you want to try the recipe. I can email you all that stuff or inbox you or whatever you want to do. Um, so tell me about different recipes that you kind of went on to a limb to try because you want to get out of a, a rut or just recipes that you like that are um, good for you because I kind of want to start cooking more as much as I love the chicken to just try other things. Um, so let me know. Share your tips. Uh, tell me how you guys have been doing. I miss you guys. I've been watching everybody's videos. Um, so hi guys. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Stay happy and healthy, fit and motivated. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good weekend everybody.